Hello everyone, it's Monday, April 29th, and today we're going to do a garden update. I've been really, really um, busy working here in our backyard, and there's lots to update. And this video is just going to be about this area here, because there's lots to share with you. Starting with our um, first planter, aromas are growing um, taller, uh, a little bit more slowly, because we don't get a lot of sun in this area. Um, more soil has been um, added to the bed to get it back to level, and then in the process, we transplanted a couple of the Peruvian peppers into here. Um, these are ahi limon. They make these uh, yellow peppers. Uh, this is an experiment on uh, intensive growing and we're hoping that the peppers will grow nice and tall above our um, bush tomatoes here and um, get us some peppers in a very dense manner. We've also transplanted our poblano peppers here and um, there's a two poblano peppers. The other uh, challenge that we've had in, in this area, as you know from the previous uh, updates, is skunk. Wait, is that? Speak of the devil. Is that? Oh, it's not a real skunk. It's just our uh, lesson for day. For today, it's S for skunk. So today, today's lesson is S. That was brought to you by Owen and uh, his uh, work from school. Um, but uh, speaking of uh, um, this area, we moved our uh, gnome here. And uh, in the last video, uh, I was talking about how the, um, we made the observation that skunks like to dig in open areas, so the gnome is moved here. And so far, it's working. Babette shared with us the tip of using Irish spring soap to keep skunks away. And I, um, I've heard that that also works for deer. But thankfully, we don't have deer in our area. And uh, these are strawberry popcorn, and they continue to grow nicely. This year, um, the last few years, we've been trying to get more flowers into our garden, and um, these cosmos are great for companion planting. They're nice and airy. They'll let air through, um, and then more importantly, they'll let the sun through, since this area doesn't get a lot of sun. And in the last update, I forgot to uh, talk about our onions that we have uh, next to our corn. So these are Australian brown onions, if I remember correctly. And they were sowed where the corn are, and they were sown in the winter time. And when we transplanted our corn here, we dug them up uh, as transplants, and then we picked the biggest ones and we um, stuck them down that row. So um, plant, planting corn and onion, that's an experiment. Um, so here's here's some examples of the corn, um, not the corn, the onions that we dug up, and we haven't been able to find spaces for them. In the past, I would spend a lot of time just getting everything um, in the ground somewhere, and I've kind of learned that um, it's going to affect our other plants if we spend our time doing that. So it's it's really hard to see that in a pile of uh, as unused plants, but um, I'm going to probably find some space for them. Um, last year we had really really good success with paprika peppers they're very practical they grow well here and we were able to um, get a good amount to make paprika powder so we have um, more planted from last year's seeds and they're looking really nice so we have one two three four five plants down this row here and this poppy is a volunteer poppy um, I, I didn't have the heart to remove it and um, went and planted this pepper behind it so hopefully the pepper won't be too um, upset that it's not going to get as much sun as the other guys over there. And then this is a marigold that we had um, underneath our, if you remember from the last update, our um, our peas that were just covering our ground here. And in the back, I don't think I talked about the beets that were there. Um, we've harvested away the beets and um, transplanted some of our extra tomato plants down there. So we have, um, this is a Goldman's Italian American, and then this is the Kellogg's breakfast. Uh, this morning we harvested more beets, so we're gonna plant another one there um, of our extra plants. And then this is our corn, our Caillou Chew Spy corn. It continues to grow, so we thinned it out to two plants, and we're gonna grow those and leave them them there. Um, still determining what to grow back in the front, so maybe more peppers that uh, are still in containers. In the back, we have our um, various varieties of blueberries, and the boys were able to harvest some yesterday. Um, that one is the Misty Blue, and it's um, been we've been harvesting that one. And then over there in the corner, the one that looks a little bit better because it's in the container, 
that's the sunshine blue so we're hoping to see, hoping that these um, other varieties will adapt well into this raised bed here and um, get nice and lush and green I think one of the things I've learned is that if you get blueberry plants that come in these little um, containers is and if, if you're planning to eventually put them in the ground I think it's best just to stick them right away rather than put them in a pot and then transplant them so that's something that we're keeping an eye on and um, on this side here we have our garlic that we're waiting on so these are hard necks a lot of these varieties are new to us and we're just waiting on them usually in mid June is when the hard necks are uh, um, ready to go and we're growing soft necks for the first time we have a few varieties here um, usually mid May is when they're um, ready to be pulled out so um, that's the garlic and then here, um, this is our Anaheim pepper that continues to grow. And then this is a rainbow bell pepper. And over here is our orange glow. This is a second plant that we trans we had sowed to. And this is the second one that we transplanted here because the ducks love um, the family of watermelon, uh, cucumbers, and uh, pumpkins. So uh, that little barrier there is to keep them away. So hopefully... Um, their necks can't reach in here and speaking of them yesterday they came in here and um, mowed down our cucumber so I'm a little bit sad about that uh, we had a nationally national pickling cucumber I think we don't have any more seeds for and um, it looks like it got the terminal tip so it's not, it may not grow back and then we had a muncher over here that was growing nicely and it was chewed on and um, also over there we had a Chante melon Got you. It was uh, a learning lesson because I had attracted them in here with um, this pumpkin that I had brought in here to crack open and get the seeds so that we can uh, sow them um, between our corn plants over there, which we did after. So we're hoping to get some um, pumpkin growing from there. But the the ducks got a scent of of the of the pumpkin and. Um, you can see the pumpkin over there. We we moved it on the other side now, and they um, were attracted to it, and they came in and started nibbling on them, and then they f caught some of the plants over there, out the corner of their eye, and then they went over there. So, um, yeah, that's our uh, duck story. We try to keep um, a very positive outlook about our garden, but I wanted to also share some of the challenges just to let folks know that. Um, we're like other folks and we have challenges with our garden and um, if you run into challenges uh, you're not alone so I wanted to throw those in every now and then just to um, let you know that we are all human and we all have our challenges that we get and work through and um, with that we're just gonna end today's video and we're gonna do a tour of the other parts um, in another one so as always, thank you for coming out and joining me in the garden and seeing how it's growing. See you next one.